What do you want to do to earn money? What would be the thing that you would do where you would really enjoy earning money for like the rest of your life? What would you do with the money when, when you got there? My name is Aaron. This is a current snapshot of our Twitter profile. And today we're looking at why Christians should get loads of money. Let's look at 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 9. Now about your love for one another, we do not need to write to you. For you yourselves have been taught by God to love each other. And in fact, you do love all of God's family throughout Macedonia. Yet we urge you, brothers and sisters, to do so more and more and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands, just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. But what, what does that mean in verse nine? that they had been taught by God to love each other. Now, how do we get educated? How are we taught stuff? It'll be uh, books and teachers and computers and homework and tablets and all that sort of stuff. God has another teaching method that Paul mentioned in the last section. It's the Holy Spirit. He would have been working in the members of the church, convicting, reminding, helping and teaching that church God has taught them to love each other well. Next, two things had happened in the church. One, the church had caused some disruption in the city because these guys would have stopped giving food and money to various gods and people would have lost out because the church started. And that's why Paul says you need to lead a quiet life and win the respect of outsiders. Two, there were people who could work but had decided not to and were just feeding off the money from the church. Now remember the difference between rich and poor at that time would have been really clear. Loads of money and food had been shared by the rich to help the poor but some people in the church who could work had decided not to. That is why he says they should not be dependent on anyone. So that brings us to our first application. Hang on. This is another one of those passages that you have to be really careful applying to your life. This is not Paul saying that all Christians should be quiet, middle-class British people like me. You'll also notice that he doesn't say to the rich people to stop giving because people are taking advantage of them. Let's work out how we apply this. So the principle behind these words here is not taking advantage of others, but working hard so you can provide. If you're able to earn money to help the church, then don't be lazy and choose to take church resources instead. That's the principle. So how do we apply this to us? Well, if you're able to earn money, then do it. The more money Christians earn, the more money the church has the more people can be helped. That's why as Christians, we should be seeking to earn money. The more money we can have, the more we have to be generous with. Now, if you're able to earn more money, then yes, do it. Christianity is not about losing ambition or not asking for promotions. Neither is it just doing what some people do, which is shrugging your shoulders and just saying, well, God will provide what well, he might do but his source of provision might be through the skills that he has given you and the rest of the church. If you have money and are asking for others in the church to fund something, then it's worth double checking your heart. Are you able to pay, but just refusing to? Could you earn the money you need? It's easy to ask people to fund you, but could you wait? Fund yourself and then go ahead. I recently had a teenager come up to me and asking me to sponsor them. This happens multiple times a year, uh, but this time they were doing a skydive for charity. And my immediate question for them was, who's paying for the skydive? I was very happy to say to them that I wasn't going to give money so that they could have a laugh jumping out of an aeroplane. But to be fair to them, uh, they funded the dive themselves. It was really honourable. I was really impressed. And they did it, and I think they had an absolute blast, but they raised some money along the way. Now, if you're living with your parents at the moment and they're looking after you, then it's worth thinking if you could help earn money to input into your family. Could you wash someone's car? Yes! Or help 
fund something. Yes! Or, or maybe get a meal for the family. Yes! Use your money to honour God and your brothers and sisters. Let's finish by reading the passage and maybe commit in your heart to do something in response. It says this, Now about your love for one another, we do not need to write to you. For you yourselves have been taught by God to love each other. And in fact, you do love all of God's family throughout Macedonia, yet we urge you, brothers and sisters, to do so more and more and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands just as we told you so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. Yes, it's about that I really need a wee. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. No, that's huge. Yeah. Now the Steve's challenge. Yeah, Steve challenge. Right, this is where Steve, my partner in crime, challenges me to get some things done. I'm gonna see what he's got for me today. Get your best score on a mobile running game. A mobile, oh, a mobile running game. Right, I'm gonna get my mobile. There we go, now you can see, hopefully, uh, what I'm looking at. I've downloaded Sonic Dash. Um, other games are available. I haven't actually played this yet. I just had to sign in. So I'll just, I'll just put that on mute. Uh, I had to sign in. I haven't actually played, so why I've got five of those red stars, I've got absolutely no idea. But here we go. I'm assuming it's just going to be left, right, and jump. Left, right. No, that's not dash meter. Oh, oh no, is this a tutorial? Swipe up to jump. Yeah, obviously. Scroll down. Oh no, I've got to roll. Okay. Roll to. Oh, roll to attack enemies. Okay. I rescued an animal. Bless it. Swipe up to jump. Tap to attack. What? Let's get violent. Roll five times. Collect 50 rings in one run. Uh, I'm going to dodge them. I can't remember how to attack. Run! Oh no, I jumped over something. Here we go. Is it down to attack? Yes! I saved an animal! Come on, animals. Da -na 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 -na. I don't even need to steer, this is amazing. These crabs are easy. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Jump the hill! Da -na -da -da. I've got the rings. What's that? Oh, that's a bad thing. Whoops. Oh, I'll go quicker if I go down. Oh no, I hit it again. Bosh! Rings earned. Six. Oh, that's my best score. Seaside hills in. Oh, right, I'm carrying on. Nice. Okay, here we go. Avoid them, go left. No, nope. avoid that. Yep, oh, I collect them even when I'm jumping. That's amazing. This looks a little psychedelic. Boosh! Nice, my dash meter is almost full. What happens then? So the rings are filling up the dash meter. I go down, I go down, I go, oh! I don't know what times two is. Dash is ready! Bosh! Yes! Right, if you're doing better than me, this is gonna be amazing, because I am smashing this. I'm wondering if this is a game that you can just play infinitely. Oh, I've got a magnet. I've got all of those rings. Amazing. Boss battle? What do you mean? There's bosses in this game? Right, so I can jump. I can go left and right. I can, whoop, oh, oh, I've just got to avoid them. Or do I have to jump and attack? Oh, I've got hit. Oh, oh, I got distracted. Keep running. No. Oh, man. Right, if you think that you can do better than that, then you will have to uh, let me know. Upload your entries to the Facebook group and we will see your entrances there. I'll see you in the next video.